I always wonder why pollen allergies were such a big deal in America. Growing up in India, we didn't hear much about this, so I dug into it. You see, in early 20th century, American elm trees dominated the North American landscape until a fungal species from the Netherlands hitched a ride across the ocean on backs of elm beetles. In what came to be known as the Dutch elm disease, quickly spread across the states and nearly wiped out these gentle giants. This put America in a frenzy. Scientists grew obsessed with genetically modifying these naturally occurring hermaphrodites to be dioecious, meaning to be either strictly male or female, to prevent unwanted pollination. Now you may ask, how is this related to my allergies? Well, when trees are functioning to their natural abilities, the pollen released by the male stamen are caught by the female stigma. So then blame the 1949 Yearbook of Agriculture by USDA, which stated, when used for street plantings, only male trees should be selected to avoid the nuisance from cottony seeds. This signaled urban planners across the United States to start planting male trees exclusively. This desire for disease resistance, aesthetic appeal, and litter-free characteristics of male-only trees worked great initially. But as these trees got mature, they started shedding pollen. Lots of it. Only this time, there were no female stigma to catch it. Botanical sexism, as it was then coined by horticulturist and pollen expert Thomas Ogren, created something that nature had never seen before, an urban pollen explosion that started the epidemic of allergy and asthma. It affects millions of individuals with respiratory and allergy issues across the United States, all because municipalities thought fruit-bearing female trees were too much of a burden. As countries around the world continue to model their urban landscape to American standards, this issue is only going to get worse. And thanks to climate change, winters are getting shorter, which means longer and more severe allergy seasons. So what can we do to fix this? Well, individually, not much. These trees are already out there, alive and healthy. However, researchers and urban planners now agree that planting a healthy mix of male and female trees is the best approach moving forward. Is botanical sexism the reason why our pollen counts are rising each year and our allergies are getting worse? I'm a board certified allergist and I'm going to explain to you why botanical sexism is a flawed theory. The male part of a tree produces a yellow fine powder called pollen that travels through the air to find the female part of the tree in order to reproduce, but many people who breathe it in develop allergy symptoms as a result. Botanical sexism is a theory that city planners selectively chose male trees to put into cities that only produce pollen so that they didn't have to worry about fruits and seeds littering the streets. People who believe in this theory often misquote a handbook that was published in 1949 by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and they take this sentence out of context. When used for street plantings, only male trees should be selected to avoid the nuisance from cottony seed. They're referring to only cottonwood trees because the roots of the cottonwood often clog sewer and drain pipes. The wood is weak and subject to breaking in storms, which could be dangerous. They were not talking about selectively planting male trees in general. They were just talking about cottonwood trees. Also, if you really think about it, the sex of the vast majority of trees is non-binary. You can have trees that have a flower that have both male and female parts. You have other trees where parts of the plant is male and other parts of the plant are female. It's actually rare to have a plant that's exclusively male versus female. Those plants are called dioecious plants, but the vast majority of plants are either monoecious, polygamous, or cosexual. Also, the tree pollen that you're allergic to can travel for many miles and in some cases can be up to 400 miles. So whether you live in a city, suburb, or rural area, you're breathing in pollen from all over the place. One of the real reasons why we're seeing higher pollen counts and more people experiencing allergies is because of global climate change. As we've burned fossil fuels, we have increased the amount of greenhouse gases, including CO2 in the atmosphere, which has led to rising temperatures. And that's friendlier for plants because now they're experiencing more days of the year with temperatures above freezing, which allows them to pollinate earlier in the year and stop pollinating later in the year. Indoor and outdoor air pollution contributes to this problem as well. We have to significantly address those issues in order to improve upon our respiratory health.